Hey guys, Mikey here, just bringing you a live video um, how I've set up my mining rigs from the start here with all the parts and stuff. So basically, uh, just going over what I've got here I've got a power supply here, uh, graphics card, motherboard, RAM, SSD drive, and CPU. That's just the basic components we need to get started. Uh, also recommend having a pair of scissors or something sharp and a screwdriver if you're going to be building a case or this into a case. So let's open things up. So SATA cables, you just need one for out at the beginning. Just keep that off to the side for the moment. Just put the other one away. Uh, this thing here is the back plate for the case, so you don't need this for what we're going to be doing, but you'll need that if you're going to be building it into a case. <clears throat> and most models come with um, this uh, static bag, guys, so it's normally got uh, foam or something underneath as well, so put your hand inside the bag and just pull the bag off like that. Okay, we want to try and touch... Uh, the motherboard and the components as little as possible. So just grab it by the foam. Because we don't need all this other stuff, just put it back in the box. And we can put the box off to the side. Alright guys, so when you get your motherboard out, basically you've got this little plastic bit here which is for the CPU. So what you want to do is you just Put your finger under there and pop that off. Okay, and that just pops off. To open up the uh, CPU holder, just normally just pops out. Flick that up. So what we'll do next is we'll grab our CPU. This is why you want a pair of scissors or something sharp. So we've got a piece of uh, sticky tape or something on there. Basically guys with these boxes, just pull it to one side, that's your CPU there, and the same thing with the fan, just pull it out, <clears throat> and with your CPU guys, this is probably the most important bit of the whole build, everything else is pretty much plug and play, um, when you're opening your CPU, it's actually locked in, a, not locked in, but it sits in a little cradle, just pop that out, and what you're looking for is, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but hopefully you can, the little arrow up the top here, now that little arrow, your motherboard will actually have a little arrow on the uh, on the CPU plate. Now the reason why that's important is because it'll only go in that way, that's why people bend CPU pins so often. So what you want to do is you basically just want to grab the CPU, and you just want to drop it in, you don't have to push it in or anything, you just want to make sure that arrow lines up with where the arrow side is, you basically just leave it there and that basically just pushes down and locks in in okay, case so that's our CPU installed now with the uh, fan guys what you want to do is with your motherboard box when you're installing your CPU fan you want to have it on something not solid the uh, reason being these pins these little CPU pins, they actually have to go through the motherboard and lock in. And uh, also, when you're determining where your fan plugs in, which is up the top here, just make sure you've got enough room. So if you don't, you can, you can obviously just mount this and turn this however you like. So I'm going to pull those little fins out and I'm going to pop it that way. These CPU guys are very easy to install. Just line up the little four holes. You want to install it opposite directions. so. Two pops in the opposite, two pops in the opposite. Then what you actually see, you can actually grab it by the CPU fan now because it's locked in. And what you actually see there, guys, is these little things have gone all the way through. Okay, so that means it's locked in. That's how easy it is. Plug your CPU fan, pin in. The motherboard is labeled with which pin goes where. Okay, so that's that. Now, to install the other components, you do want it on a solid surface. So we'll just move that box out of the way. Put it back on the solid surface. So next we'll grab uh sorry not the SSD, next we'll grab our RAM. Just rip that packet open, it's pretty easy. <clears throat> the 
RAM again guys, two little clips here, just unclip it. The RAM will only go in one way. Okay, it's not got a little hole right down the middle of it, it's only got a hole off to the one side. Just pop that in. And you want to push that firmly down on both sides at the same time guys, until it locks in, you'll hear two little clicks. Now for gaming RAM and so forth that have little heat sinks and so forth on it, you don't really want to push on the actual heat sinks, you want to try and push on the very outside sticks of the RAM. Because uh, what happens sometimes is I've seen people install RAM and they push on the actual heat sinks, and the heat sinks are only stuck on there by um, glue stuff, and the heat sinks actually push off, and then that, that ruins your RAM. Alright guys, so now that we've got our RAM in, it just clicks in. <clears throat> what we want now is uh, put that box back out of the way again until later on. I'll show you guys why. Pop that out of the way. Next we'll grab our power supply. Open this up. So this is a Corsair 1200 watt platinum supply, power platinum supply. Um, you want to get at least gold or platinum standards for your power supplies if you're doing minor rigs, guys. Reason being, they're more efficient. So the more power you can uh, not use or not waste, this is going to be in your benefit. So there's all your little little books and things, don't need any of that. Just want to keep your power cable out. <clears throat> Take a little snazzy, snazzy power supply. Put it out of there. Put that out. On this power supply is a little little sticker there, so just make sure you remove all the little stickers and things. <clears throat> Put our books and stuff back in, you don't need those right now. Now for this build guys, because we're just going to be setting it up with one GPU, okay, in your power supply what you'll need is large CPU pin cable, you'll need a CPU 8 pin cable for this motherboard, most motherboards will these days. We will need a PCI Express for our graphics card. Uh, we will need a SATA cable, SATA power cable in here somewhere. SATA power cable for our SSD. Uh, and that's all we need right now. So I'll put everything else to the side. supply this is a modular power supply so basically what happens is everything plugs in like all these plugs have the same sort of clip ends on them so they're very easy to use Just unravel that a bit most power supplies will have a slightly different setup uh, but it'll normally tell you where everything goes it only going one way guys it'll just clip in only going one way so don't be scared Now we'll plug all these in and then I'll show you where we'll plug them to on the motherboard. That's our SATA, that's just for our SSD drive. This one is PCI Express. This is for our graphics card. Now this power supply comes with um, six PCI Express cables because we're running six graphics cards so it's very important to get the right um, power supply for the right setup that you require. Uh, so this is for our CPU. On these modular things guys it doesn't really matter where you plug them in as long as it's for that dedicated port. So what we've got, this is for our motherboard. This CPU one is also for our motherboard. This one is for our graphics card, and this one is for our hard drive. So I'll just move this off to the side a little bit. And this is again, guys, where you want to put it on the flat surface, because when you're plugging these things in, the motherboard creaks and groans a little bit. These cables will only go in one way again. 
give them a nice firm down push. You'll hear it click in. That's all that needs to be done. So for your CPU guys, plug the CPU in. Again, only going one way. A little clip, clip in. Where we go. Now, backing up our SSD drive. Now these, these hard drives are cool. You can flick them around, you can have them sitting any way you want in your um, in the computer because they're basically like a memory stick. So they don't have actual moving parts. So um, if you're worried about mining rigs, where to mount them and so forth, don't really have to mount them anyway. You can have them leave, leave in, uh, lean in any direction you want. All right, so we've got our motherboard, we've got our CPU installed, we've got our RAM installed, we've got our power supply with all our power connectors ready to go to put our SSD drive out. Uh, last step, let's get our video card. Move that out of the way. So these are the graphics cards that I'm using, guys, for the mining farm. Now we've got 60, 60 of these graphics cards. So the whole mining farm set up so far is about 30, 30k Australian dollars. 10 mining rigs. Out of the way, warranty card always always useful to keep. These cards, guys, pull them out of the plastic. Plastic back in. They've got heaps of plastic on them, so just remove the plastic. Flick them over. These ones got a back plate on them, so you don't really have to worry about touching the circuitry and stuff. Cool. So just peel off all the plastic. So make sure you get all the plastic, guys. Otherwise, you don't want little bits of plastic flying off into your fans. <clears throat> Now on these cards there is a little bit of plastic here also on this fan. Let's pop that off as well. This little thing is just a cover. Pull that off. And if you've got a flat blade screwdriver or some other sort of screwdriver, um, it's got little covers on here. So we're going to pop out our little HDMI port. That's the one we'll be using. Just a little clip. Alright, put that away. Now remember how earlier I said you would want to keep your motherboard box off to the side guys? So you can actually lay that down. Now the reason why you want to keep this down is you can either, uh, if you're just setting up a test bench or test uh, area or something, you can basically use either a box or the edge of your table and you want to put your motherboard on the edge of the box Okay, because what happens is when you plug your graphics card in, you've got this little bit of metal hangover which normally sits in your case. Okay, so you basically want to, and that's plugging in. And again, guys, this can only go in one way. While this is plugging in, it actually sits over the front of here, and it just sits in there nicely. So while you're doing a test bench or if you're getting um, computers ready, you can basically just use that little cool trick. Or you can sit on the edge of your desk as well. You can overhang the... Uh, the graphics card to the edge of your desk. So basically with your graphics card, power is up here. Got our little 8 pin power. And again, this can only plug in one way. It will not go in any other way. And when you plug in that in guys, if you don't have it, if you don't have it screwed into a case or whatever, just put some uh, pressure under the bottom of it as you plug it in. Again, it'll clip in. Now the only other thing we need to do is for our um, SSD drive. On this board, you've got SATA 2 and SATA 3 ports. So you want to use the SATA 3 ports because they're faster. That, again, only goes in one way. PCs are very easy to build these, ga these days, guys, compared to uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago where everything had to be lined up a certain way or certain things could plug in different ways. So again, clip that in, only goes in one way. Put our power in, only goes in one way. And we're done. Now... The only other thing I'd recommend to you guys if you're going to have a computer outside of a case is to get one of these little cables. So these are like a little um, little power cable. And what this does is it just acts as the switch instead of the front um, of your PC case. So it's labelled as uh, power on your motherboard as well. So you just pop that on and that little clip, that little button just acts as power. And that's basically it guys. That's how to build either a PC or a mining rig. Um, any differences with your mining rigs are because on this motherboard we've got six slots so we can have six cards, right? 
Now what I'd recommend is installing your operating system software as it stands right now. Install your either Linux or your Windows operating system. Install your graphics drivers and so forth and get it all running. And then once you plug your other cards in, it'll automatically work with the other cards unless you've got a problem with either the card or the power or the driver cable and other driver cables. Look similar to this, so this is slightly different than what I've got coming for our farm because they're coming on Wednesday. So basically guys, this is a USB cable. So what this does is that actually plugs into, that plugs into the clip there. I'll take this card out and show you guys. And then with these, uh, with these riser cards, what actually happens is that plugs in to there. Okay, so that acts now as your motherboard basically. And then this plugs into here. And that's where it gets its signal from. Okay, and then you've got your power in here as well. So what I'd recommend for these uh, riser cards guys is these ones here, again, they have the PCI Express power. Now, try and get either power supplies or these riser cards that have this because um, the SATA riser cables, even though you can get them and they are a lot cheaper, um, SATA cables aren't really recommended for having high, uh, high power drawn through them. So what this riser uh, cable now allows you to do, when you build a, uh, when you build a frame or either for this setup or if you have a large setup like you'll see on Wednesday with mine, um, you can actually have them up away from the motherboard and you can mount them, you know, you can mount them however you please, wherever you like. So you can have six of these in and six different cards running from one setup. Um, yeah, but that's basically about it guys for the, um, for the setup. Thank you much Lee for tuning in. I hope you found that educational and hit me up if you've got any questions and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel guys if you want to keep updated with the mining farm. Cheers guys, good night.